Okay, I'm a geometry teacher, and uh, <clears throat> I've had students who have had problems with sight before, but this year I've brand new have had a student who who's considered legally blind. He can, I mean, barely see. He has to put the paper up uh, nearly completely to his glasses to be able to see anything. So I've had to figure out a way to be able to really help him. <clears throat> so I wanted to show uh, the way that that I was able to kind of to kind of help and to accomplish that. So this is just a basic worksheet that we that we did today just going over some basic stuff I mean we're the third day of school so we're just going over basic definitions but uh, talking about coplanar lines that do not intersect talking about parallel lines here so it's what I use is I have a little Mimeo board that I can carry around with me and I can walk anywhere around in the classroom that I want to and this thing is completely wireless so you can see as as I'm moving that pencil around on my board <clears throat> it's moving the cursor around on my screen so that I can annotate over this worksheet so push that little button, it takes a picture, and then I'm using my little thing right here. Use my wireless tablet. And then click on that. And so coplanar lines. It's parallel lines. And you can see up here on the screen, that's what all the other students are seeing that can see just fine. They look up there and see that up on the on the big screen. But even if I had him if I had him sitting in this desk at the very front of my room, there's, he, there's no way he could see that. So, um, on my iPad, I've downloaded this program called Display Link and downloaded the software to my PC. And so now if I go to this Display Link, brings it up here so that now he can take he can take this iPad and I'll keep it at his desk where he can see this and so as I'm annotating up here this next one is perpendicular so that he has that right there and he can put this iPad up to his face so that he can be able to see uh, what it is that we're doing so this 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 uh, display link app that I've downloaded uh, I assume there's a lot of apps that can probably do the same thing, but this one seems to work pretty good. Uh, the thing I like about this display link is, I know there's like air display, but with air display, <clears throat> and you can probably turn this option off, but with air display, it's basically, it's, it's a full remote app where you can control and manipulate the computer through the iPad itself also. But I don't want him to have control to manipulate anything. I don't want him to accidentally hit the screen and, and mess me up. So with this display link, it's completely... Um, he he has no he has no uh, way to edit anything that I'm doing on my computer. All this is is an extended monitor, so that he can just well, it's a cloned monitor, I guess, but he can see exactly what's going on. And uh, uh, <clears throat> I've only been able to use it for a couple of days. I I hope that it's going to be able to help and to give him help. He has an inclusion teaching here as well, but uh, I think that this app right here uh, with my iPad is really going to be able to help out the situation. So, just want to make a short little video about this and hope uh, maybe if you have the same kind of situation that, that this might be able to help you out as well. Thanks.